Introduction While eating, some curry falls on Rishi's shirt. He rushes to clean the stain of turmeric with soap. But to his surprise, the stain becomes orange-red after washing with soap. How the stain changed the color on applying soap? Let us find out in this lesson what caused this color change. Objectives At the end of this lesson you will be able to Explain indicators and its kinds Describe the function of indicators Define neutralization Students, how can you find that a fruit is acidic or basic? You can easily test the acidic or basic nature of a substance by making a simple indicator solution at home. You will need beaker, gas stove, petals of china rose, a clean glass bottle, three small glasses, lemon juice, soap solution and distilled water. Pour some distilled water in a beaker and heat it on the gas stove. Heat till the water becomes warm. Then to this warm water Add petals of china rose. Keep the mixture for some time till water becomes colored. Filter this purple red water in a bottle with a tea strainer. This purple red solution is your indicator. Then take small amount of this indicator in three small glasses. Pour lemon juice in the first glass, water in the second glass and soap solution in the third glass. What do you see? You can notice that in glass 1, color changes to dark pink. Lemon juice is acidic in nature, so there is a change in the color of the indicator. You can see that there is no color change in glass 2. Why this is so? This is because water is neutral in nature. The color in third glass changes to green. Thus, we can conclude that the indicator solution obtained from china rose turns bright pink in the presence of an acid and green in the presence of a base. We can put a drop of this indicator solution in the desired food item to know whether it is acidic or basic. What is the taste of water? Is it sour or bitter? It is neither of the both as water is neither an acid nor a base. The substances that are neither acid nor a base are called neutral solution. Litmus is a natural indicator. It is extracted from lichens. It has a mauve color in distilled water. It is available in the form of a solution or litmus papers. You can test the nature of a solution by litmus paper. Dip a clean stirring rod into the baking powder solution and then touch the wet stirring rod to the red litmus paper. Red litmus paper turns blue indicating that the baking powder solution is alkaline in nature. Again, dip a clean stirrer into the vinegar solution. Put one drop on blue litmus paper. Blue litmus paper becomes red, indicating vinegar is acidic in nature. Let us perform a simple experiment. Take some hydrochloric acid in the beaker. Then add some phenolphthalein to it. Now add sodium hydroxide dropwise to this solution with continuous stirring. After some time, the pink color slowly appears in the solution. When we add more sodium hydroxide, the pink color becomes brighter. On adding a drop of hydrochloric acid, this solution again becomes colorless. So, phenolphthalein appears pink in alkaline solution and colorless in acidic solution. It is colorless in neutral medium. Fill in the blanks by selecting the suitable option. Let us do an activity to understand neutralization reaction. Materials needed are a piece of chalk, vinegar and a test tube. Drop some crushed chalk in the test tube. Add vinegar to the test tube. Watch what happens. The chalk reacts with the vinegar. As the chalk reacts, the bubbles of carbon dioxide comes out. 
A white solid is formed on the plate which is calcium acetate. Chalk is calcium carbonate. Vinegar is acetic acid in water. When they react, carbon dioxide, water and calcium acetate are formed. Thus, we can say that an acid reacts with a base to form salt. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. An indicator is defined as a substance which is used to test whether a substance is acidic or basic by means of a characteristic change in color. The solutions which do not change the color of an indicator are called neutral solutions. They are neither acidic nor basic in nature. The indicators that are found in nature are called natural indicators. Litmus is an example of a natural indicator which is widely used. Acids turn blue litmus red whereas a basic solution turns red litmus blue. The reaction between an acid and a base is known as neutralization.